Hello, everybody. We are back with another video today. I'm going to be talking immediately about the breaking information that's been happening over the last hour and a half. President Donald Trump, there was an assassination attempt at President Donald Trump at his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. From what we know, President Trump is fine. He's in a stable condition. However, we, we have yet to hear from him. Uh, what appears from what we saw in the video was that the, somebody shot at the president and the bullet, former president, and the bullet grazed his ear. Uh, he waved his fist defiantly after the assassination attempt after and then eventually was escorted off of the stage by secret service surrounded by probably 10 agents secret service as you can see this is just fox news with their headline but there are plenty of every single news organization is is covering this right now as it was an assassination attempt undeniably uh, uh you know people are trying to say let's not jump to conclusions i mean the shooter has been identified he's he was an antifa he's you know Certainly somebody who was uh, against Donald Trump, and he also made a statement saying that justice is coming, apparently. Uh, you know, So we'll see what happens. He's confirmed dead at this point. Um, but what I would just like to say is that right now, I mean, this at this point in time, Donald Trump is is, is almost guaranteed, uh, well, I wouldn't like to say guaranteed simply because of what just happened, but uh, incredibly likely to win the presidency. I mean, this is just, this, this is just going to only increase the enthusiasm for President Trump. The photo that he has of him waving his arm in the air with the blood on his face after the attempt was is just, you know, incredible, honestly. When you look at the the, the will and the defiance that he had on his face, uh, you can see all of the photos of him that they took. Um, but it does seem like President Trump is alive. We, we yet to see what is going to happen with the VP pick. That's going to happen any day now. And his convention speech, which is going to happen every day, any day now. Still no comment from the president of the United States. We're 90 minutes in. We've had no comment from President Biden. That is that is honestly kind of shocking as well. Absolutely nothing. We would hope that he would have something to say as in a, in a televised address as well as former President Trump if he's uh, healthy enough to, to go forward with making a statement. Obviously not a live speech at this point, but a televised or a, a video recorded of him um, just making a statement to the American people from both presidents, both the Democrat nominee or presumptive Democrat nominee and presumptive Republican nominee. Uh, but right now, yes, this is just my analysis that this is is only going to make it more likely for Trump to win the general election. He's almost guaranteed an electoral victory if he doesn't manage to, obviously, uh, die of an assassination attempt <laughs> in the coming months or, or years if he is elected president. But yeah, that's really all I have for you. Short video today. Just wanted to cover the breaking news following Trump's assassination attempt. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the unfolding events and how do you think the country is going to go forward after this thanks for watching have a great day